ferrying the SU-27 from Maribula to Malakuta for an afternoon of fun and we'll rotate at 120 80, 90, 110, 20, hold 5 degrees, there it is hold the brakes, 5 or 10 degrees, somewhere in there gear up, flaps are already up, uh, auto and let's, let's go it's a great day for flying as somebody once said about 80% 80, 80 RPM gives us around about 400 knots 380 fantastic let's just check the cameras we've got the helmet helmet mounted cam Schlem I think it's called the Schlem digging back into my memory max the Schlem it's a fuselage cam reverse upper reverse left wing left control services right and right wing heading for waypoint one which is the uh, allied natural wood exports at Eden there's Eden over to the right coming in about 200 feet uh, I'm actually going to dial in 500 to that radar altimeter that'll be useful for the landing circuit pull a few G's over the uh, Allied wood exports. Head to about Mark 1 right now over the National Park. When you're in National Park, what's the saying about space? When you're in space, nobody can hear you scream or something. Pretty much like that down here. Waypoint 2 is Green Point, I think, Green Cape Lighthouse US at the moment. It's fantastic, the um, sprightly aircraft and great fun to fly. It's one of my favourite aircraft, that's for sure. Uh, now the the mouth to the um, America River, yeah, because I think of uh, America, America. Straight across this large bay, which uh, I have not yet explored, but look forward to bringing a chopper or. A shock cub down here or amphibious nx cub oh, oh sorry amphibious uh, cessna anyway got heaps of choices in the hangar here's the mouth of that beach and now uh, the border and then gabo island lighthouse which is in service It's about Mark 1.3 there. Uh, first we will cross the border. There's nothing much to see at the border except a white, white sandy beach. Which we can see coming up right now. 
then it's 4.8 miles to Gabon Island. We won't go supersonic past that because break all their expensive mirrors. So now down to mark point eight. It might pop some smoke as we go past that to give them a thrill. And something they put on Instagram I guess. under 200 feet. Uh, smoke on. Throttle back. Over the lighthouse. Play a nice little smoke trail. That's cool. Right, so on to Malakuta. Should be dead ahead after that turn. Pretty much. At five degrees left. Sure, we're coming over the bay though. That's a lovely town there too. Big sand dunes over there. Runway is 1836. It's about 10 o'clock. Turn to the camera. There we go. Look at that awesome view. Sandbanks. There's Malakuta. Airport. Uh, I think I just saw a light flashing. It's hard to pick out. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, it is hard to pick out. The other runway. Um, which I didn't write down because it's not paved. It actually stands out a lot more. Ah oh, yes, that's right, these four ponds. The four ponds help us line up for uh, 418. So we'll do an abbreviated circuit. Buzz the tower first, pop some smoke. Guys, public smoke. Throttle it back. Smoke off. <laughs> That's just having a laugh. Um, laying smoke like that is uh, it's actually. Not a, not a bad strategy if you're coming to an unfamiliar airport. Uh, to find it and orient yourself back to the runway, to lay smoke down the runway, is not a stupid idea. If your aircraft carries smoke, of course, which uh, uh, MiG-29 does, this one does, PC-21. I think they should all have smoke. Righto, gear down. Flaps are auto. Speed brake out. Alpha's good, but the speed's high. Let's. Okay, speed brake in. I've got three greens, landing light on. Oh, that is sinking 4,000 feet. That is like way too much. But this Soviet muscle car will just uh, let me brute force my way out of that trough. I still landed hard. I'm going to do that again. That was disgusting. But I gear up. Just because the landing gear can take it. The sink rate like it doesn't mean it should. Yeah, it's embarrassing. But right, let's. How about I try to concentrate? So, looking for 3.6. The ponds, which I can see there, 10 o'clock. 
golf course here and a radio tower out there gear down save the golf course past the ponds and then we should be lining up for 18 so I'll try to get on speed earlier this time yeah that was a mess I guess that's a, probably a hazard of these fly-by-wire aircraft is I find I get really lazy especially when they're as powerful as this as I said you can brute force your way out of many mistakes let's try to fly it properly this time right speed brakes in flaps auto feels good landing lights on three greens gear down about 160 is where we start to fall behind, so let's, right, let's use the throttles now. Sink rate's very high. Let's get the nose down. It's going to land very long. Speed brake out, tow brakes on. Yeah, we're going to go into the rough. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, wow. So after all the showboating on the way down, I find myself landing in the bush. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, Less said the better about that.